Imagine standing near a set of railroad tracks in the 1800s. A train thunders past, its wheels clattering loudly on the rails, smoke pouring from its smokestack. The ground shakes beneath your feet. Back then, trains were the fastest and most powerful machines people had ever seen. But they were also dangerous, especially when it came to stopping. That's where George Westinghouse came in. He was an inventor who made trains safer and faster, and his ideas helped bring electricity into homes and businesses across the country. George Westinghouse was born in 1846 in Central Bridge, New York. His father owned a small machine shop, and from a young age, George loved working with tools and engines. He was curious about how things worked and always wanted to build better machines. When he was still a teenager, he invented a rotary steam engine and a device to help guide train cars back onto the tracks if they derailed. These early inventions showed how creative and determined he was, even as a boy. When George was 19, the Civil War broke out, and he served in the Union Army and later the Navy. While serving, he gained more experience with engines and machinery. After the war, he went back to inventing. He saw a huge problem with trains. They were hard to stop. Back then, each car had its own brakes, and men called brakemen had to run along the tops of moving cars to set them by hand. This was very dangerous and caused many accidents. In 1869, George Westinghouse invented the air brake. This system used compressed air to stop all the cars of a train at once, with just one control from the engineer. It made trains much safer and allowed them to go faster because they could stop more reliably. The invention was so important that it changed railroads forever. Rail companies across America and Europe quickly adopted it, and it saved countless lives. Westinghouse didn't stop with trains. He was also deeply interested in electricity. At that time, Thomas Edison was promoting a system called direct current, or DC, to bring electric power into homes. But DC had a problem. It could not travel far without losing strength. Westinghouse believed another system, alternating current, or AC, was much better. A C could travel long distances and carry power to entire towns. In the 1880s, Westinghouse began building AC power systems. He hired a brilliant young inventor named Nikola Tesla, who had developed motors and equipment that worked with AC. Together, they proved AC was safer and more efficient than DC. This started what became known as the War of Currents, a competition between Edison's DC system and Westinghouse's AC system. In the end, AC won, and it became the standard for electricity around the world. Thanks to Westinghouse, people could light their homes, power factories, and use electricity in ways that shaped modern life. One of the biggest successes for Westinghouse's AC system came in 1893 at the World's Fair in Chicago. Westinghouse won the contract to light up the entire fair with AC power. Millions of visitors saw the glowing lights and were amazed at what electricity could do. Soon after, Westinghouse also helped build the power plant at Niagara Falls, which supplied electricity to Buffalo, New York. This showed that whole cities could be powered by AC. Westinghouse was not just an inventor, but also a businessman who treated his workers fairly. He believed in giving his employees reasonable hours, good pay, and even time off, ideas that were unusual at the time. People respected him for caring about safety and fairness as much as profit. By the time he died in 1914, George Westinghouse had over 300 patents. His air brake revolutionized railroads, and his support of AC power helped bring electricity to millions of people. Today, whenever a train stops safely, or a city lights up at night, it's partly because of his ideas. George Westinghouse's story is about curiosity, safety, and vision. He saw problems in the world, worked hard to solve them, and made life better for countless people. His inventions helped shape the modern age, and his legacy still lives on in every train ride and every light that flickers on.